Here we go again, another experimental general purpose language that Google is pushing and trying to get into the limelight to supersede another language. This time it's C++. Can you believe it? It's called Carbon. So let's talk about the Carbon language and what the goals are here by Google. Let's talk about what Google is designing Carbon to support here. According to them, their language goals are to make a language that has performance critical software development, software and language evolution, code that's easy to read, understand and write, practical safety and testing mechanisms, fast and scalable deployment, modern operating system platforms, hardware architectures and environments, and interoperability with migration from existing C++ code. So those are some of the goals here. This is entirely new, and this is not to say this won't work out, but what's annoying to me is that it seems to push this new carbon language on us rather than heavily testing and developing it like most mature languages have done in the past, which have been full of testing with promising results well before they were actually shown to us and given to us and thrown all of these expectations and goals on us it seems pushy that google yet again is trying to give us another language that's supposed to make things better quote unquote just because the google think tank came up with it and has advertised it as the next best thing to replace something that's already proven like c to work well and very efficiently if you know how to use it properly so those are a little bit of my thoughts but let's keep looking through here the current project status is it says here currently an experimental project why don't we wait until it's mature before actually releasing this to the public and trying to make a big deal out of it but i digress we want to better understand whether we can build a language that meets our successor language criteria and whether the resulting language can gather a critical mass of interest within a larger c industry and community i'm going to say that's going to be very hard to do simply so many production environments already run C++ and it would be economically so money wise disastrous for a company to convert their proprietary code over from C++ to something like carbon a lot of companies are going to be opposed to doing this simply because of the money and time it's going to take in order to rebase their code to another language there doesn't seem to be much incentive here to actually go over to this new language I assume they're going to be adding some sort of a package manager, which of course would help because library management in C++ is pretty much a disaster. And I'm sure they're going to add, which they call the most difficult challenges. We anticipate generics, class types, inheritance, op operator overloading, lexical and syntactic structure, code organization and modular structure, which don't get me wrong. It is a great thing that there's development trying to supersede C++ because there are areas where C++ lacks, but it still looks past all the decades of development that C++ has had, as well as other mature languages, of course, that aren't just going away because Google wants them to. And that's just really what it feels like with this whole deal. I'd love to know your opinion below. And also if you're stopping by today, make sure to subscribe below to follow more videos just like this. But no, in my opinion here, this seems to be another failure from the start of Google's promises, but only time will tell if that's the truth. Of course, here's a great website that if you have some time, spend it here and check out and look at all the projects that have been deprecated by Google over the last couple decades. You'll notice that there are about 267 projects here listed thanks to Cody of course I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself it's quite fascinating it gives you a rundown of the project as well as how long the project lasted for between which years giving you a great idea of how much failure there actually has been it really feels like they just are throwing darts at a wall hoping that something sticks especially when you start reviewing all of these Google failures from the past I guess that is one thing I have to give to them. They keep trying. Maybe one of those darts actually sticks one day. So what is Carbon exactly? Well, that's why we have a wiki page already. So edited five days ago, actually first appeared five days ago, July 19th, 2022, Carbon 
is a experimental general purpose programming language created by, you guessed it, Google to be a successor to C++. It was first presented to the public by Chandler Carruth at CPP North Conference in July of 2022. The language intends to fix several perceived shortcomings of C++, but otherwise provide a similar feature set. The main goals of the language are readability, bi-directional interoperability, so there will not be a language barrier like Rust had. The language will be designed and developed on GitHub as opposed to the ISO process C++ uses. The language is developed as a free and open source project under the Apache license version 2. And that's really about it at this point because there isn't too much information. It's about as fresh as it can be here, but but what's wild here is that I think this is just going to cause more confusion and decision fatigue for developers, which is a real thing. Whenever you have too many languages to choose from and constantly hop from one to another, it just makes a disorganized mess, which is kind of the current world we're living in now. New languages popping up left and right in all sorts of different stacks that we have that we can use for programming. For the most part, it's great, but for big production environments where they already have stable running environments, I find it hard to believe that they will actually transition to things like Carbon and even Rust with how wonderful that is. It's hard to get decades of code and development over to a newer language. But with all that being said, smash that like button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in another video.